in this video i'll be showing you how i made this skirt that i got from pinterest hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how i made this skirt i'm yemi by the way if it's your first time welcome to my channel where i do diy so uh for this short skirt i just got like two rectangles more like rectangles actually and then the length will be the length of the skirt and then the width will be half of your hip measurement so i cut two pieces so one for the front one for the back and I measured my uh, waist divided by four on the top there. And so I just had to cut from cut whatever excess is left down to where the hip measurement is, which is like eight, seven or eight inches away from the waist. So depending on how, depending on your size. So the next thing I did is cut the band and I used two and a half inches folded. So if I open it to be five inches and then I cut the length of the band to be 26 that was my own waist measurement so you can use your own waist measurement for that part and so these are three pieces i'll be using the front and back of the skirt the band and the elastic now moving on to joining the body part so for the body of the skirt i have to get the two pieces that i cut for front and back and get them to face each other now for this fabric is a bit um basking so you have to like measure your you have to mark your front and back from the beginning to join this uh, fabric together, I'll be using this stretchy uh, stitch, which is number three. It kind of looks like a thunderbolt, so if you have that on your sewing machine, please make use of it. And if you don't, you can just use the regular um, uh, zigzag stitches because that's pretty much was like the closest to um, the thunderbolt stitch, and it would do your stretchy fabrics well. You'll be still be able to like stretch your fabrics when you use the zigzag. But you're better off using the actual stitch for it. So I'm just going to join the two sides of the body of the skirt together. So I'll join the two sides of the body together. And so when you're working with this fabric, what I was trying to say earlier is that you have to mark your um, front and you have to mark your wrong side so that you're not like sewing wrong side to right side. So if you have a fabric that's like very, um, that's very uh, the same on front and back on right and wrong side, make sure you mark what side you want to work with as your wrong side. So now I'm just folding the edge of the skirt. So this will be the bottom of the skirt. I'm just folding it once because I use my um, pinky shell scissors to cut it. I don't have to really fold it twice, but I could if I wanted to. I could do a roll hem if I wanted to. But because the skirt is already really short, I just decided to just fold it once. So now I'm just going to sew, still with the same stretch stitch that I've been using. So because the fabric is stretchy, I'm using that stitch from beginning to end. For every stitch I'm making on this skirt. So for every stretchy fabric I get to work with, I either use the zigzag, which I really don't use anymore since I discovered that I could use the number the stretchy fabric stitch, so I don't have to use the zigzag. Now moving on to the skirt band, I cut the skirt band earlier, and what I what I had to do was to join the two ends of the band together. So to join the two ends of the, once I join the two ends of the band together, I'll just sew it from top to bottom, and then I'll have like this. Um, I have my band complete sort of. So I have I also had to join my elastic band together like so. I use my zigzag stitch as you can see to sew from top to bottom, and I took and I made the um, stitch length very small. I made it this small. That's why you can see like the stitches are really like close. So right now I'm just going to tuck my elastic band into the band that I cut for the skirt. I'm going to tuck it inside and just pin it so that it's not moving around. And I'll pin it like all around the band. So after doing this, I'd um, 
after doing this i'll like check to see if it sits well and if it's like going to be okay on my waist by simply stretching it to see how wide it will stretch i mean there isn't much you can do about it to fix it you just have to cut another elastic if it looks like it's not fitting well so that's how i'd advise that when you're cutting the elastic you size it around your waist first and leave maybe a little bit of allowance so that you can join the two ends together so now that the elastic is inside i can now join the band to the skirt and it will still be joined i'll be joining it like right side to right side the band is right side on both sides so i just have to be very conscious of the right side of the body of the skirt so i'm going to join it to the join the band to the skirt and use my pins to secure as usual and then i'll take it to my sewing machine and use the same stitch number three that i have been using So when you're joining this together, you sort of have to be conscious that conscious of the fact that the um, the top the band might be bigger or smaller depending on how stretchy your fabric is. Might feel might look bigger or smaller than the waist of the skirt. So you have to like stretch it this way just to see what when you're sewing you have to stretch it so that it kind of like aligns the band aligns to the skirt now you're stretching because there's an elastic band there's an elastic band inside if there's no elastic band inside you should not be stretching if you're already using the stitch number three because it might just affect how your seam will come out so because there's elastic inside i'm stretching just like i would stretch like regular cotton fabric that has elastic inside it So I'll sew with stitch number three again and I'll sew this round the skirt. This way much round the waist. This way much the last part of completing the skirt. This is a simple skirt that you can wear in the summer. I mean summer is kind of coming out now, even though it's like on and off. I feel like all over the world has been on and off in the UK, here in Canada, and even in other places that are usually cold before earlier in the year. So now it's kind of coming out slowly. Some days it's hot, some days it's cold. After doing that, finishing the band, I went on to just do like one stitch on the band basically to hold the elastic in place so it's not moving around i did this because the elastic the elastic band the width of the elastic that i use is way smaller than the band that i cut for for the skirt so i had to just secure the elastic in place by just sewing the stitch in the center of the band just to hold it you don't have to do this if you end up using an elastic band that's like very um thick or is wider than the one i used you can definitely just skip this process but i just wanted it to look this way so you see what i mean when i show you like the finished product and i still use the stitch number three as you can see is what i've been using since sometimes i tend to adjust my tension at the top sometimes i use four sometimes i use three usually when i'm sewing my regular cotton fabrics i use i make it between three and four but sometimes i just like make it four or or a little more when I'm dealing with stretchy fabrics. There really is no like rule to this. I pretty much just adjust as I feel when I'm sewing. So this is the finished product. This is what it looks like. The band looks like that. And here's the skirts that you can wear for your barbecues and whatnot during the summer. Okay, thank you for watching today. See you in my next video. Bye.